Hi, Tim Bigham back again this week for Traders Exclusive and pretty uh, mundane week so far. We do have some fireworks coming at the end of the week, Thursday and Friday. Friday NFP, the jobs report as they call it, and Thursday getting something out of uh, Europe, uh, the ECB, as far as their rate policy going forward. I think the market kind of pricing in a little more easing than maybe uh, coming to the plate, so we shall see there. Seeing a little divergence finally. The market uh, still trying to grind its way higher every day on literally no volume. The levitation on light volume continues. We've seen five of the lightest trading volume days of the year over the past 12 trading days. The E-mini future has been up nine days in a row, was down on the opening today, struggling and looking like it's trying to make a run to head higher again. So that would make it 10 in a row uh, closes higher on the E-mini future. Market generally has been up eight out of the nine days. The one down day was a minor day. So uh, we're seeing the market just uh, heading higher slowly on no volume, what I call kind of a creepy market and creepy in different ways too. This just doesn't feel like a normal market here. We're seeing the 10-year yield, which was below 2.5% on the U.S. Treasuries, finally heading higher here. And I'm doing a play on TLT, which is a 20-year uh, surrogate. Uh, that traded up on May 29th up to 115 and change. Had a key reversal day the following day. Now it's trading back down in the mid-112 area. I'm positioning out in June, selling the 115, 117 call spread. Last I looked, it was trading about 30 cents. Uh, just looking to position that this thing won't run back up to the old highs over the next couple weeks, given the fact that the big trade of the year at the beginning of the year was basically, you know, short bonds looking for rates to head higher, you know, and long uh, dollar yen looking for the yen to strengthen. Both of those did not come to fruition. We saw a pretty big unwind on that. So as the yen started to, you know, weaken appreciably, we saw uh, the big trades coming off there, which forced guys to, you know, cover their short uh, bonds as well. I think that's come to an end here. I do kind of like the skew on the calls versus puts as well on that trade. Otherwise, we see the VIX actually creeping higher as well here, uh, you know, heading back to that kind of upper 1150 to 1180 area, even given the fact that the market's heading higher. So seeing a little divergence, market heading higher, VIX heading higher. Normally don't see that, but certainly in front of two kind of macro events coming, market moving events uh, with the NFP and the ECB rate decision. I think that's why you're seeing some protection being bought here finally. Otherwise, uh, the market just seems to want to head higher here. You know, uh, I listened to uh, a couple of guys and I think it's important to remember signal versus noise. A lot of the market chopping around is noise, but sometimes the market signals something. Certainly the signal over the past nine trading days is we are going higher, albeit on uh, low volume. So at some point, I think this market will have a pullback. But uh, until then, I think it's just keep the head down, wait to see what happens at the end of the week. You know, add a few trades lightly here, looking at Apple selling out of the money put spreads there. I do like the fact that, you know, they did come out with their conference uh, announced the news of stock sold off is rallying higher today. I added the 610, 612 and a half put spread yesterday. I sold that uh, looking uh, to add the 617, 50, 620 put spread today. Put a little bit on this morning stock ran up and these are the weeklies that expire this Friday. So until uh, next week, this is Tim Bigham and as always, keep those position sizes in place and those stops going. Take care.